subscribe to our channel. Click on bell icon, you never miss any update. So I welcome you to the very important session, test cases. Yes. Test cases have a very high priority or high importance in your testing career. You will be associated with the test cases in your daily life. Like either you will be writing the test cases or if you are lead you, are, you will be reviewing it. Okay, Whatever it may be but you will be associated with the test cases every day. So test cases plays a very very important role in your QA profile. So let's begin with the test cases. What is the test case? How we write the test case? Where we write it? So all those things we'll discuss now. Okay, so let's begin. Let's start with a very simple definition. Like what is a test case? So if you have any inputs, you can give me what is a test case. So I'm saying that a test case is nothing but a document with an expected result. It's a simple document which contains some expected result. So from where you'll get this expected result? From your use cases or functional requirement document or user story or whatsoever it may be. Means you are going to get this information from some documents, some expected result, right? Fine. So we have written some expected result in this document. It's good. So what is an expected result? Whenever we perform some operation, then only we can expect something from the system, isn't it? Assume that if you have clicked on delete mail, then only I can expect that mail should be deleted. Correct? If I click on compose mail, then I can expect that the compose mail tab should open. A means if I perform some user operation, then I can expect something from system. If you sit idle, then you can't expect anything from the system, isn't it? So if you have operation, then will you have an option to expect something from the system. Right, so let us improvise it. A test case is nothing but a document with user action and expected result. Right, so what are the operations we are doing on the application and how the system is going to respond? Just expectation, really, we don't know whether it happens or not. Just an ex expectation. Fine, now assume that you are trying to check a login functionality. Then, what we need to do, you need to write a username. You need to write a password. You need to click on sign in. After clicking on sign in, we are expecting that whether it is taking you to the desired page or not. Your what is your expectation taking you to some certain page? But here you are using multiple operations. Yes, to, means multiple user actions. We have only one expectation, but we'll be doing multiple user operations. Means you'll be opening a website, writing the username, writing the password, click on sign, and then we are expecting something. Means some cases will be having a series of user actions right so let us improvise this a test case is nothing but a document with series of steps of user actions and its subsequent responses or expected result so what all we have in the test case what is user is going to do in a step by step that is what series of steps and along with that what we are expecting from the system so these two user actions and expected result. These two are drafted from your requirement documents. Either it may be FRS, use case or user story, what not. Okay, from some requirement documents, you are going to draft them. Clear? Okay, do we have any rules to write the test case? I can say not too much rules, only, only one or two rules. The major rule is make or write the test case as simple as possible don't make it complicated whenever you write the test case lot of cases you'll be executing it some cases your team member or some other may execute it in that case even you need to understand it isn't it so make it simple so that everyone understands it okay yes now what type of test cases we have so we have functional test cases non-functional ui performance like that's we have a list of it. I'm not talking about that. So how many ways we'll test an application? Generally, we need to test an application with valid and invalid data. 
whenever we test an application with valid data we call them as positive test cases or a valid flow test cases whenever we write a valid flow test cases or positive test cases we need to expect that system should accept it okay we have negative test cases whenever we write any test cases with invalid data we need to expect that system should reject it okay yes so where we write the test cases this is also very important generally we can write it any editor if you want you can write it in the notepad if you want you can write it in wordpad yes but those are not such suitable not a proper format for that generally we will be writing in excel because it has a proper structure which has rows and columns where we can write the test cases easily not only that this test cases can be exported to test management tools also if you write in excel okay so i can say either you can write in excel or in some test management tools like zira or alm also support that they have uh, test manage because there are test management tools obviously they will have some option so where we can write the test cases directly over there if you want you can write there or you can write in the excel sheet so excel sheet is what you call most easiest option or i can say easy to access rather than saying easy uh, option i can say easy to access option you can send easy email to anyone if you want but whereas which are in alm or zira it is bit complex uh, every time to log into the server and make changes to it okay so whereas if you have in excel it is very easy to use okay easy available too now let's see what we do is now uh, as i said earlier uh, i will show you one test case template okay and let's see how it looks like every company uses its own template the thing is that okay every company uses its own template almost it has the similar fields the test case templates which is used by my company it may be the same with your company too with few diff few changes but ultimately you can manage it it's not that completely different so first thing every company uses their own test case template template in the sense which has some predefined components in it that's it this is an a generic test case i can say a general test case okay here we have all the project details at the top and after that we have some fields some column names test case id test case description step name test data step description expected result actual and status in some cases we can see preconditions also in some test cases income sec test cases we'll see priorities and severities not severities we'll see some priorities so that all we'll see it in uh, coming classes but this is a basic template okay excel sheet where we have some predefined components almost similar like uh, with few color changes or few uh, information change will be there in the test cases right so i mean to say if you have hands on one type of test case that's enough whatever uh, the other template may look like but still you may handle it not too much big difference okay yep that is a point next so we'll see like uh, each and every column in the excel sheet what it represents for okay let's begin that as i said you can see that uh, the top position is all about uh, general information like project module and what are the documents you have any reference author any inspections or reviews has been done everything those will be written over there the very first column uh, that is test case uh, id generally this is an unique id which will start from test case 001 if you have one more test case that will be test case 2 3 4 so on like that generally it will start with a unique number so what is this test case id it's a label label for the test case yes so we have a label for a book right same like that it's a label for the test case so what it for what is the number of the test case so test case 1 2 3 4 so on like we can write it a unique number will be given uh, for each test case and it follows some naming convention actually you can see that first test case id after that the main project then module if you have any sub module then sub module then functionality if you can see it here test case 001 e banking is a main project name home page is a module 
we don't have any sub module so functionality is visitor links means if someone looks at the test case id they need to understand on which functionality you are writing it's a label right yes next is very important test case description literally it explains why we are writing test case 001 what is your goal what is your main intention purpose of test case simply we'll not write test case right we'll have some goal what is that why we are writing the test case so that should be given in the test case description then step name will be generally step 1 step 2 step 3 or 1 2 3 4 the thing is that every step name should have at least one step description and expected result at least one step description and expected result yes test data okay so before to test data let me talk about uh, test step description and expected result just have a look on the step description enter your and click on go click on home page click on personal banking click on corporate banking these are the operations what we do right step description in the sense the operations what should be performed on the application right what is expected result whenever i perform this operation if you have a look on this click on personal banking whenever i do this operation according to the expectation system should display information about personal banking means step description and expected result as i have given information in the definition what is test case sequence of character sequence of or series of steps with the user action and its subsequent response literally sequence of steps with the step description and expected result that is what it means correct yes now what is test data test data is nothing but to perform some operations in the step description enter url what is that url will be writing in the test data column as in the enter username and password what is that username and password we'll be writing that in the test data column this is writing the test cases okay once after writing the test cases after few days application will be available for the testing so while testing the application whatever given in the step description you are going to perform that on the end application yes you are going to perform that on the end application now whenever we perform any operation on the end application right then what happens we'll get some response from the system okay we'll get some response from the system that response is nothing but actual result whenever we perform any operation on the application or whenever we perform the step description on the application we'll get some response that response will be written in the actual okay after writing that response in the actual then we need to compare expected and actual if are both are identical it's pass else it is fail this is what it going to happen and this is the definition or this is what the explanation of your test case template